What's up, guys? Doing another episode of some of the sights and landmarks that you'll see in Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is a large, vivid, and beautiful world. And there's so much cool stuff to see. Like some of the stuff that I'm just now seeing up on the hilltops. Oh, okay, that's a cool church. I'm going to put a pin in that for later, for sure. <laughs> right now, we're in this beautiful little valley in western Malka. This town is called Banado. It's a cool little town. Okay, and here's the province of Malka, which is where we're at, and we're in the western part in this little valley. And I found this really cool little church. And what attracted me to it was this stained glass window. You know, this is all Santa Muerte stuff, and I don't know anything about Santa Muerte. I've heard reference to it in other um, media, so I assume it's a, in a, some kind of actual religion. You know, I'm sure this game takes some liberties with it. But there's some cool little Santa Muerte idols and altars and churches and stuff here. I do want to check that out, and there's a cool document in there I want to check out. But this, this town really drew me in with some of these, these cool sculptures and things that I saw. Okay, this is a statue that I've seen before. You know, the saint death holding... Jesus, I'm not really sure of all the symbology, so or symbolism. <laughs> so uh, before I go in there, though, there's this cool. I saw there was a bunch of cartel guys out here. I had to kill, and one of them was praying in here. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you know, uh, pardon my ignorance, but this is like some you know, like I don't know. This reminds me of like Day of the Dead stuff. You know, it's very cool. I know there's a lot of reverence for, or you know, I understand there's a lot of reverence for death, just in, you know, in general in. Latin Catholicism. So let's see what's in here. Oh wow, that is a cool statue. <laughs> I love these crazy cool morbid statues, but they're not they're not like cartoony and goofy like you see so much of Day of the Dead stuff. This stuff is like it looks like it was built from an actual dead person and that's that that makes it a little creepy. That's very cool art. I like the wings. I want to see inside this church. Over here, though, and definitely see. Well, this is also a church, but I, I kind of went inside here, and it's it's really really cool in here, and that's actually why I decided to do a video here. Now, I was looking at some of the graffiti around here. Actually, yeah, before I go in there, and I think this one line of graffiti right here is really interesting. Uh, part of my pronunciation: <laughs> "La muerte me lleve unos cuantos contenedores de la vida," which if I had to look up the meaning. I, I think that roughly translates to something like, you know, e you know, death has basically something like death has taken even more lives than me is, is somewhat basically what it means. And um, you could take that as someone competing with death or I, I think that shows our reverence for death. It's saying that, you know, no matter how many people I kill, death has always killed more people than me. I think that's what that's saying. And I think that's that's very cool. They, they put a lot of work in this, in, in showing this cartel's reverence of death. <laughs> Nothing like a soda machine in your holy temple to Santa Muerte, huh? That's a little... That's, that's actually a nice touch. Oh, wow, look at these cool bookshelves. Okay, so that over there must be... Oh, Biblioteca, library, this is a library. <laughs> It just dawned on me that this has biblioteca above the uh, above the uh, stained glass. Okay, so that over there is the chapel, and then this is the chapel library. Yeah, that actually just now dawned on me. I love the colors and the statues and everything and the candles. Let's see what this document says. And also, well, I'm, I'm gonna do that in a second. <laughs> There's one more thing. There's one thing I hear I want to do. All right, so let's see what this document says. Oh, wow, you can see through it like it's stained glass. I mean, that's not exactly a hard effect to create, but that's really cool. They thought to put that there. Let's see this document. Should be something cool. Let's see, picture evidence. Is it anything? Oh, I thought it was something cool, some kind of lore stuff that we could read. No, it's just uh, a Bavechos newspaper article about the Day of the Dead in Malka. This year, the tradition parade was heavily sponsored by Santa Blanca, starting and ending in front of the newly built Santa Muerte Cathedral. Okay, I was hoping it'd be some kind of cool lore you could read. A slot machine? Is that what that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these guys. So, I wonder... 
It's it's you know it's not blasphemous if if, if it's a god of death, right? Why can't I aim? Oh. Oh, I was hoping I could break it. All right, had to try. Nope, can't break it. So guys, that is his cool little. I'm sure there's way more cool stuff. Here. There's cool stuff everywhere you go in this game, but I wanted to show this really cool library. There's more to this building. Wow, this building's really got an ass on it. Damn, I don't remember. Oh, I guess that's where I went in. It looks much smaller from the inside. Okay. Let's see, and so we got this cool little building out here. So this is really, really cool stuff. I love exploring all the cool locations Everybody I come across. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment with what you think. And if you like content like this, please subscribe so we can keep doing more cool stuff like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. My name is Dark Dally. I'll catch you all later.